welcome to Sutter Health and CPMC's Breast Health Center, where we provide you with the full spectrum of breast health care, from initial exam, to diagnosis, and to breast health treatment. In this short program, we look at the reasons for having your biopsy, and specifically, what you can expect when you schedule your ultrasound-guided breast biopsy with us. So an uh, ultrasound-guided core biopsy means that we'll actually see the needle going into the lump under ultrasound guidance to make sure that we're accurately biopsying the area of concern. They have you come in about an they allow an hour for the procedure. It does not take that long, but there's a lot of preparation and getting ready and getting sterile before the procedure. One of the technicians, she went over everything that, what to expect and um, made me feel a little bit better about what was gonna happen. They, she explained everything before the doctor came in. While the actual biopsy procedure only takes about 15 to 20 minutes, be prepared to be at the Breast Health Center for an hour and a half to two hours. Before the biopsy, make sure you tell us if you are taking any kind of blood thinning medications and report any other medications or supplements you are currently taking. It is important that you do not take aspirin, vitamin E, ibuprofen, naproxen, and blood thinning medications for at least four days before the procedure. If your procedure is scheduled for the California campus, be sure to arrive 15 minutes early. Register in the lobby of 3698 California Street, then take the elevator to the second floor and check in at the front desk. If your procedure is scheduled for the St. Luke's campus, arrive 30 minutes early. Register in the lobby of 3555 Cesar Chavez Street, then check in at the front desk. You can come alone or bring family and friends. They can wait for you in the waiting room during the procedure. They explain everything, they talk you through it, and they're there for support. So uh, when I had the ultrasound, I basically, the technologist brought me into the room, I laid on the table. Um, she got me in a position that was easiest for her to find this area that she was looking at. Just a little gel was on my breast and she used a probe to go over uh, the area of the lump and the area of the other uh, mass that they had seen on my mammogram. Uh, it was painless and uh, it looks like she was taking some pictures. I couldn't really see the screen. What the patient can expect with an ultrasound guided core biopsy, the first thing they'll do is have to give their consent, the procedure will be explained, they'll get changed, they'll get put on an ultrasound table, just like they're having a, a regular ultrasound. And then we would numb up the area with a little lidocaine. Some patients say it feels like a mosquito bite, maybe a little burning, just a little local anesthetic, like going to the dentist. Then what we do is we put a, a needle in and we take little pieces of tissue. They look like angel hair pasta, maybe about a half an inch long. We usually do that three or four times. The patient's the boss. If there's, they need more lidocaine, we can always give more lidocaine, but most patients tolerate the procedure quite well. When the biopsy is over, when we're done taking our samples, we'll put a little marker in. Patients will always ask, is this going to set off any alarms at the airport? But it's almost microscopic. It's just a tiny little piece of titanium. You won't even be aware that it's there. It definitely doesn't set off any alarms at the airport. We put in a marker to know that that's the lump that was biopsied. So if it's benign, a uh, patient may forget about it, 10 years later come back and say, gee, I'm not sure if I had that lump biopsied, but it has the marker, so we always know that yes, it was actually biopsied. The other reason we put a marker in is if it is cancer, now the surgeon knows exactly where to go to take out the area of concern. She did it so quickly, I didn't even, I didn't realize it was done. So when patients need a needle core biopsy, they're usually very anxious. They're anxious about the procedure, they're anxious about the needles, and they're also very anxious about the results. 
The good news is during the biopsy, we can explain the whole procedure before we do the biopsy, and we tell them exactly what's going to happen as it happens. If they have any needs, if they need us to stop, if they need more lidocaine, we can always, we're communicating during the biopsy. And it's a pretty easy procedure. It's more the uncertainty which is hard for the patient rather than the actual process. After the procedure is completed, the technologist will apply antibiotic ointment and a band-aid to the site of the biopsy. We will provide you with a small ice pack that can be placed in your bra after the biopsy. The technologist will provide you with instructions to keep the ice pack next to your breast for a total of three hours, with intermittently placing the ice pack in the freezer to refreeze. We want you to avoid lifting anything over 10 pounds for at least 24 hours after the biopsy. This gives the incision time to heal a bit. In the days after your procedure, you should expect some moderate residual pain. Likewise, there may be some swelling and bruising. This is a normal result of the biopsy. The results will be available within a week and you will receive them from a breast health center clinical nurse. So after the biopsy, they asked me just to take it easy, don't uh, lift anything heavy for that day and the next day and stay away from aspirin so that it would not bleed. Um, they did have me use an ice pack for three hours and that was just to keep the swelling down um, and really just a band-aid on the area. Thank you for watching. We know that finding a lump in your breast can be upsetting and can raise many questions. If you would like to learn more, here are some helpful sources of information. And of course, you can always call the Breast Health Center with your questions.